E yo, let's be down below if you subscribe and welcome to the content. Guys, I think we need to come together and apologize to J. Cole because this shit just got dark. And when I say dark, this shit got darker than the dark skin Drake thinks he is because whoa. It's starting to expose one another. Like this is starting to become like a very, very toxic relationship where these two have dirt upon each other, which could really ruin the industry. Like, I don't know how much we still don't know about these two guys. And that's the scary part. They seem to really have some deep rooted, like this is beyond hatred now. This is scary. I don't think you guys understand how insane it is for someone to have a track, a response track ready. 30 minutes after you drop your response, he's there, ready. Someone's gotta apologize. I don't know who it is, but somebody has to apologize to one or the other. Cause the more this shit gets exposed, I think we're gonna have to involve the government or something because nah fam something something weird is going on here man and it's scary and it's concerning i enjoy it as rap but when it gets to the point where it's like these people could be doing some really shady criminal type shit it's like we might have to get the, the higher ups involved nah fam this is this is not normal this is not a normal beef anymore this is not even a normal diss track back and forth anymore this just seems like if you got shit to say i got shit to say now it's the part of like what's a lie what's the truth What's the meaning behind this bar? What's the meaning behind that bar? Why is he attacking this person? Why is this person getting a straight shot? Like, ugh. so much is happening, bro. Like, my head is going bang, 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 bang. At first, I was enjoying it. When Like That dropped, I enjoyed it. When Push Up dropped, I enjoyed it. When Euphoria dropped, I enjoyed it. When Drake's, uh, when Drake's AI song, Taylor Made came out, I enjoyed it. But Meet the Greyhams and Family Matters. Holy shit, bro. Those are two different scary tracks, bro. Those are tracks which are like, okay, like, damn, but... Damn, <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, if you guys are listening to the to the lyrics, like, even if you don't, even if you don't know nothing about rap, even if you don't know anything, bro, just listen to those lyrics and and listen to what's going on, bro. There's there's some type of plot in there. This is some gangster movie shit type of plot. Whoa, the the industry is wild. Cat Williams was saying all this, but yo, the industry is wild. Other than that, God bless. Have a nice life. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye.